When it comes to training your core, which is essentially a broad term for all the musculature that surrounds your spine from a 360 degree basis, what's the best method to do so? What are the best exercises to do? In today's video, I'm gonna answer those questions and explain why if your idea of a good core workout is doing side bends, sit-ups, crunches, and leg lifts till you're blue in the face isn't just a recipe for failure, but also likely chronic low back pain. And as always, at the end of the video, I'll also hook you up with a quick and intense kettlebell routine designed to help increase core strength while simultaneously burning fat to reveal a more lean and muscular midsection. Education and implementation, baby. That's what I'm all about here. Okay, so let's first discuss the two very polarizing roles that the core has in your body. First is the one that I think most people associate with when they think about their core. That's the spinal flexion, lateral flexion, and rotation associated with sit-ups, crunches, leg lifts, side bends, and let's say Russian twist. Now, in my mind, these fall into the isolation-based movement category that I typically stay away from. And it's not that these are exercises that are bad per se, but a lot of people I see doing them don't execute them properly, do high volume to the point that surrounding muscles like your hip flexors mainly get the bulk of the work and don't balance things out with the posing movement patterns, for instance, doing back extensions to balance out doing sit-ups, so much so that it creates a lot of imbalances that result in low back pain. Why? Well, what happens a lot of the times is that when you combine the fact that your hip flexors get a bulk of the work from flexion in the spine, say doing crunches and sit-ups a lot, and you combine that with too little work done in the opposite movement pattern, like let's say doing some back extensions, your hip flexors will have the tendency to pull your pelvis forward, creating that anterior pelvic tilt that causes chronic low back pain. Which by the way, if you're experiencing this low back pain from anterior pelvic tilt, the solution's pretty easy. What I do is ease up more so on the spinal flexion work, you know, kind of knock out a lot of those crunches and sit-ups, prioritize extension work, a simple back extension will do, and be better about stretching your hip flexors. That usually solves that problem pretty quickly. Now, this commonly occurring chronic low back pain issue caused by anterior pelvic tilt doesn't necessarily mean that these spinal movement-based exercises shouldn't be done. It just means that if you do them, you gotta make sure you stop the set when the quality of contraction in the muscles you're trying to isolate dissipates and you're vigilant about balancing out those movements with their opposing movement patterns. Now, this leads me to the second, and in my opinion, far more important role that the core plays in your body. That's its ability to insulate or protect your spine during all movements, as well as help you move powerfully and synergistically as one cohesive, fully integrated unit. These are the exercises that require coordinated contraction of your entire core to execute a specific movement while preventing any movement in your spine. So whereas a sit-up is an isolation-based core movement that focuses on contraction of your rectus abdominis to execute the movement, an anti-lateral flexion-focused single-arm farmer's walk forces all musculature of your core to co-contract for the purpose of preventing that kettlebell to pull your spine to the side into lateral flexion. And it's this totally integrated co-contraction of your entire core to insulate your spine during movement of the rest of your body that in my mind makes these types of core exercises far more functional on the power production and injury prevention side of things. Not to mention many of these types of specific um, core movements being offset and multi-joint in nature lend to a training approach like ours that require faster workouts that force a greater focus on doing higher return on investment exercises which have multiple benefits instead of just one like let's say doing a sit-up does. So to wrap this discussion up, 
I'm not saying spinal flexion, lateral flexion, or rotation-based exercises are bad. They have their place when executed right and programmed correctly with moderate volume and a focus on balancing things out with their opposing movements. But when it comes down to what wins in the functionality department and even practicality department for those looking for a core workout that packs a bigger bang for your buck, the upside from workouts like the one you're about to see far exceed that of a run-of-the-mill side bends and sit-ups based routine that you might see in a bodybuilding magazine. And with all that said, I am officially tired of talking as I'm sure you're tired of listening. So let's get to the workout. Enjoy. Hey guys, thanks for checking out today's deep dive into core training. If you enjoyed it and have any other muscle groups or specific exercises you want me to discuss in detail with future videos, be sure to leave those questions or suggestions down in the comment section below. And while you're at it, before you leave, make sure to let me know I'm on the right track 
for giving you guys the content you're looking for here by hitting the thumbs up button, subscribing to the channel, and pressing the alert icon so you get notified the instant I drop new videos here every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. If you're looking for a more in-depth view of exactly how I program for all of my clients who are short on time, yet hungry for serious gains in size, strength, muscularity, as well as conditioning that allow you to look like and perform like a badass without having to spend an hour or more inside the gym that you frankly do not have, then be sure to check out my brand new program, KB40, on either the pin link you see at the top of the comment section or the first link down in the description box. This program is tailor-made for the family man and businessman who only has time for what works and nothing that doesn't. So if you wanna really dial in your training and your diet, then check out this new system I've created by visiting either the link at the top of the description box or the pin link in the comment section down below, and I'll take you to the other page which explains it all. Appreciate your time, guys. Have a good one. Mandler.